Hi, and welcome to V101 TV, a new channel dedicated to virtualization podcasts and whiteboard sessions. I'm Tim Smith at tsmith underscore co on Twitter. And today we're going to have a brief introduction to virtualization, and then we're going to go ahead and install VMware's hypervisor ESXi 6.0. Let's get started. So virtualization allows us to take multiple guest operating systems and put them onto a single physical host. That host is going to then share its resources out to these guest operating systems so that they're going to believe that they're running on their own resources. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. Let's start with our physical host. Normally we'll have our CPU, RAM, network adapters, and storage attached to that host. And in the physical world, we would install our copy of Windows or Linux directly onto that hardware. Now in a virtualization world, we're going to use a hypervisor. There's two types of hypervisors, a type 1 and a type 2. Let's start with type 2. Type 2 will sit on top of your existing operating system. So let's say, for instance, VMware Workstation. And then so we'll have our OS layer, our VMware Workstation hypervisor, and then virtual machines on top of that. A type 1 hypervisor will be what we see in data centers and server rooms, where we don't have an OS installed directly onto the hardware. Instead, VMware's ESXi is installed, or in other cases, Microsoft's Hyper-V. And then on top of there, virtual machines are running. Now, each of these virtual machines are given a portion of the host resources. So each individual VM will see its own CPU, its own RAM, its own network, and its own storage. So what we're going to do next is actually walk through an installation of installing VMware's ESXi onto a physical server. Okay, we've booted up our physical server off of the CD, which contains the ESXi 6 image, so let's get started with Enter. We'll uh, go ahead and fast forward through this part where it's going to load the kernel uh, into RAM and we'll proceed with the installation. Now that the installer is all ready, we just need to answer a few questions and ESXi will be installed. Let's go ahead and accept the license agreement. Right now it's going to scan for available hard drives on this server. We've got a five gig we've got a five gigabyte drive that we'll uh, go ahead and install on. And I'm going to choose US because that's where I live for my default keyboard layout. And our super secret password of password. All right, now that the installer is ready to proceed, we'll hit F11. Uh, everything will get installed to the drive. The server will reboot and we'll be ready to go. All right, the install succeeded. Let's go ahead and hit Enter to reboot. Our CD drive will be automatically ejected and will be booted back up at the configuration screen. All right, we are all booted, and as you can see, we've only got two options, F12 and F2. We don't want to restart, so let's do F2 and enter in our super secret password of password. And here's the limited configuration options we have, changing the password, configuring and testing the network, and viewing some system and support information. And in most cases, you're going to come in here and configure a static IP address for the management network on your ESXi server. I'm going to go ahead and leave it DHCP for my lab. So next time, we'll go ahead and use the vSphere client to log into our server and finish up the configuration and spin up a virtual machine.